Let's discuss about the types of resistors. Resistors are present in almost all electronic circuits. Based on the specifications like the power rating, type of material used and the resistance value, the resistors are further classified. A resistor is a two-terminal passive electronic component used to oppose the current. It is the component commonly used in electronic circuit and devices. A resistor is used to maintain specified values of voltage and current in an electronic circuit. The resistor works based on the principle of Ohm's law, which states that the voltage across the terminal of the resistor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. The unit of resistance are ohms. Based on the specifications like the power rating, type of the material used and the resistance value, the resistors are further classified. These resistor types are used for different applications. The two basic types of resistors are linear resistor and non-linear resistors. The linear resistor are further classified into fixed resistor and variable resistors. Let us go through the details of each resistor. A resistor whose values change with the applied voltage and temperature, that is the current is directly proportional to voltage, are called as linear resistors. They are classified into two groups, fixed resistor and variable resistor. The symbol representing the fixed resistor and the variable resistor are shown here. Now fixed resistor means it is a resistor that have a specific value that is a particular value and we cannot change the value. Types of fixed resistors are carbon composition resistors, wire worn resistors, thin film resistors and thick film resistors. The figure shown here is of the carbon combustion resistor. The resistor are made by mixing carbon dust and the insulator powder which we can also call as a binder. It acts as a binding agent and then converted into a small road. The ratio of the insulation material determines the actual resistance of the resistor. The main advantages are they are readily available, very durable and are are of low cost while the disadvantages are there they are very temperature sensitive in wire wound resistors a piece of resistive wire is wound around a ceramic core this wire is then coated with an insulating material the resistance wire commonly used are tungsten nickel nickel chromium alloy etc these resistors have properties like high power rating and low resistive values. This type of resistor is used for high power applications. Thin film resistors are made by depositing a very thin layer of conducting material on an insulated road made of ceramic or plastic. Two types of thin film resistors are there, carbon film resistors and metal film resistors. In carbon film resistors, a very thin resistive carbon layer covered around an insulated material road or core made of high grade ceramic material. The metal film resistor is similar in construction to carbon film resistors. But the main difference is that metal is used instead of carbon. Metal film resistors are very tiny, cheap and reliable in operations. Thick film resistors are seen as thin film resistors, but the main difference is that there is a thick film layer instead of thin film layer. So we call it as thick film resistors. Variable resistors. As the name says, the value of resistor can be changed through a dial, knob and a screw or manually by proper methods. There is a sliding arm which is connected to the shaft and the value of the resistance can be changed by rotating the arm. They are used in the radio receiver for the volume control. Types of variable resistors are potentiometer, rheostat, trimmers. Potentiometer 
It is a three terminal device that is used for controlling the level of voltage in the circuit. The resistance between the two external terminals is constant while the third terminal is connected with a moving variable contact. The value of resistance can be changed by rotating the moving variable which is connected to the control shaft. Rheostat They are two or three terminal device that is used for the current limiting purpose by hand or manual operation. Trimmers There is an extra screw with potentiometer or variable resistors for better efficiency and operations. So it is called as trimmers. By changing the position of the screw with a small screw, screwdriver, the value of resistance can be changed. Non-linear resistors the resistors in which the current flowing through it does not change according to the Ohm's law but change with the change in temperature or applied voltage are called as non-linear resistors. If the flowing current through a resistor changes with a change in body temperature then it is called as thermistor while if the current flowing through a resistor change with the applied voltage then it is called as varistor or voltage dependent resistors. Thermistor It is a two terminal device that is very sensitive to temperature. The resistance is inversely proportional to the temperature that is the resistor increases when the temperature decreases and vice versa. Negative temperature coefficient means the resistance decreases with the temperature rise. While positive temperature coefficient means resistance increases with temperature rise. Varistor Varistors are voltage dependent resistors which is used to eliminate the high voltage transients. When voltage increases across a connected sensitive device then it changes the level of voltage. Light dependent resistors or LDR it is a resistor in which the terminal value of resistance change with light intensity. It is also called as photoresistor, photoconductive cells, etc. When light falls on the LDR, as the quantity of light energy is inversely proportional to the semiconductor material, this reduces the resistance of the semiconductor material. It means photoresistors have a negative temperature coefficient. Resistors are used for applications like current control and limiting to control temperature and voltage in laboratories, in home electric appliances like heater, iron, etc. Thank you for watching the video. For more details, please visit our website or mail to us.